Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be covering a video on how to cheat with the animations. Now it's not cheating animations um, in, in like what it means, it's actually just replacing the images that you have applied onto your current model. Now before I start with that, just, just review this animation sequence, noting that I do have a few bones set up here um, to actually manage my, this, my um, animation. And if I look at my armature, I've got a few animations already um, set up here. You can see there's a kick, uh, there's a run final, and a run jump final. Now it looks a bit laggy here, just because I'm recording in the background as well, so it is taking my processor uh, quite intensively. Um, but to look a bit further into this design or this animation, hiding all of these bones, we can see that we also have, let me just find that uh, pants quickly there, we have a few meshes assigned to this animation, including the body as well as the beard. Now the beard meshes hasn't been used really, and the only meshes that I've used so far is for the body and for the pants, or for this little dress if I could call that. Um, this character is called Kratos, you probably would have seen it a few times in my pro um, project list here at the top, the tabs at the top, um, but I've now finally gone to it after I figured out the processes and how I want my images to be. Just notice that the body is a single image, it's not se separate images, so uh, that also helps a lot. Um, I've also looked a bit more into um, a better building of animation and I found what a few people read and I'll see if I can find the link for that article for you guys. Um, I've rigged the body in four bones instead of one big bone. And that gives me a lot of flexibility in terms of how my animation actually works. You can see that. Um, it's, it's a lot smoother using it in that met this method. Okay, getting to what I want to show you guys. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace my actual um, images um, with other images that I've created as well. It's a bit more blocky than this design. Now, just to note on that, that you have to make sure that the names for every image is exactly the same. Otherwise, it's not going to replace that image. It's just going to bring it in as a blank file. It's, not, it's just going to sit there with no one assigned to it. But once we rename all of, of all of the replacement files exactly the same, what you will get once you say relocate library path in your armature, just going to go one back, go to create this right blocks. What's going to happen is all those files have been replaced quite fast. Looking at the animations itself, we can see the meshes actually um, work as well. Uh, maybe I should play the slow ones. You can see that body meshes quite nicely actually. And then we get a jump. Looking at the other one as well, at the kick idle, you can see that body meshes quite nicely with that pants. Um, as well as the running option there, we can see everything um, actually transferred quite nicely. The only thing I noticed there with the meshing not working so lucky is on the beard. That is because the beard ball is a lot different. And this one is um, a little straight without the, the hairlines, uh, as I can say. So you're going to have to go review your design just to make sure that all of it's fine. Um, additionally, if you look at the animation, you could also import an animation. Say, for instance, if um, a colleague of mine has created an animation for this exact build on his PC, he sends it over to me over email or on the network, and I import this, it will actually load up the images as well if they are named the same. Um, just to note, if you use import animation, your armature has to match up with those bones. So yeah, that is all I need to uh, all need to show you guys. Um, obviously, a lot of you people might not have known it. Um, a lot of other people might have known it as, um, in the same sense. Um, so yeah, if you liked it, please hit the like button. If you would like to see more, please subscribe. 